What's going on everyone? Uh, I am back here with another video for you guys today. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your iPhone's personal hotspot via USB to your Mac computer. Uh, so I'm going to be using my iPhone 5 running iOS 7. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So really the only thing you have to do on the actual uh, iPhone itself is go ahead and go into settings. Go to the personal hotspot tab and flip the switch to turn on the personal hotspot. Now once you have personal hotspot turned on, uh, you can either choose to either turn on or off Wi-Fi. It doesn't really matter if it's turned on. Uh, but my personal preference is I would actually recommend turning Wi-Fi off if you're going to use this via USB like I'm going to be showing you. So I would recommend going to do that. So go ahead and turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off so it doesn't interfere with anything. Uh, so once you've done that, uh, we need to switch over to uh, the Mac computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I'll see you guys on the computer. One second. All right. Uh, now that you are on your computer, uh, you need to go over to System Preferences. So let's go ahead and click on the System Preferences. Uh, now once you have this opened up here, you need to go and find Internet and Wireless. Uh, and then from there, uh, once you find that, you need to hit Network, so click Network. Uh, now that you are in the Network tab, <coughs> what you're going to need to do is turn off Wi-Fi. So you can either turn it off uh, from here, or you can go to the status bar. Uh, so go ahead and click that, turn off Wi-Fi. <coughs> uh, then, once you have Wi-Fi turned off, uh, you then need to go to the little plus icon. Uh, but first, plug in your iPhone uh, via its USB cable. Let's go ahead and do that first before you do this. Okay. Now that you have plugged your iPhone in uh, with the USB cable, I'll go ahead and now hit the plus icon here. Uh, and then from this drop-down menu, uh, click iPhone USB. Uh, so then click that and then name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it iPhone USB. So then once you've done that, hit create <coughs> uh, then it will add the iPhone to the list of internet connection options so then once you've done that you need to before you can do anything else you must hit apply so hit apply okay now that you've hit apply um, the iPhone's uh, USB connection should be established so I'm gonna reconnect the USB cable again and we should get it connected and there we are so now the iPhone is connected via uh, the USB for the personal hotspot and that's basically all you have to do uh, if you happen to get an error uh, basically as you can see here with the Bluetooth pan option uh, where it is saying no IP address uh, if you happen to get that on the iPhone USB what you'll need to do is click this little minus button here to remove the iPhone connection like so uh, then you're gonna wanna re-add the connection by re uh, repeating the steps uh, that I showed earlier so go ahead and go back to this menu hit iPhone USB rename it hit create and get the connection back uh, and then that hopefully should revol uh, resolve the no IP address a connection issue uh, so there you go you're back connected again uh, so let's go ahead and test this out real quick and load up an internet page uh, here's the upload window to YouTube uh, let's go ahead and go to the YouTube home page and there you go as you can see it has loaded up the internet and it's actually fairly fast uh, because it is running off of the LTE service um, that only is, of course, available on the iPhone 5 and above. But if you're using an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 4S, of course, it'll be 3G, which is still pretty fast uh, if you're going to be using the USB connection. Uh, but anyway, that is how you connect uh, your iPhone running iOS 7 uh, using the personal hotspot over USB. So I hope this video has helped you guys out. And, um, yeah... Make sure to hit the subscribe button uh, down below. Uh, also, make sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. 
Uh, also, if any questions or comments, uh, leave those in the comment section below, and I will get back to your guys' comments or uh, questions uh, as soon as I can. So, uh, yes, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys thought it was helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.